Nostalgia is one hell of a drug, and it's one of those few things that's still working in Hollywood right now. But unlike movies and TV, there are some arts that no one wants to see. Ads. Now ads are something that nobody wants to watch unless they're like 20 years old, then you watch a YouTuber talk about those ads. And there are some ads, no matter how many times I skipped them, they're still stuck in my head and they are not leaving. And if they're gonna live rent free in my head, they're also gonna live rent free in your head. I don't know why this has always been a thing, and I'm asking this as a legit question. Why do people keep trying to sell dolls that need to go to the bathroom? Here comes the baby. Can you help me go potty? New baby alive. Potty dance baby. Potty dance, potty dance. Hurry, hurry. I'm sitting on the potty. Oh, the doll has a peeing sound effect. That's amazing. Your daughter's gonna love that. Hey. Oh, and it comes with real water too. Uh, I don't even know if I'm allowed to show that on YouTube. If you leave this doll at home, does it still need to go to the bathroom? Or like, do you come back to your place and your dog's like, it wasn't me. It was the doll. I've never understood the appeal of having a doll like this. And it has been a trend for a long time. Like, are you trying to teach your kid about how hard it is to be a parent? Because the bathroom stuff is just a single part of being a parent. Granted, it doesn't seem like the most fun part of being a parent, but I hope it's not like the main thing you want your kids to know about how hard it is to be a parent. Like there are other responsibilities too. You need to feed your kid breakfast and figure out what type of cereal they're gonna eat. Cereal ads, I just think are a ploy for people to eat dessert for breakfast, like Reese's Pieces, Lucky Charms, and Chips Ahoy, which is just cookies. Like how is this a cereal? Another thing you need to be a successful cereal brand is to have your mascot addicted to your product. Look at the dog from Cookie Crisp, which again, just cookies. The cinnamon toast crunch pieces just start eating each other. Cannibalism. Buy our cereal. Or the guy from the Cocoa Puffs commercial who literally is rehabbing himself from being addicted to Cocoa Puffs. To keep me from going Google for Cocoa Puffs, I'm going to lock him in this chocolate safe. He's having delusions of Cocoa Puffs just appearing. Yeah, I'm gonna give this to my kid. <laughs> Just like drugs. But the mascot that was definitely the most addicted to their product had to be the honeycomb mascots. I'm starved. Where's the honeycomb? Oops, back in the van. These kids want honeycomb so badly that they turn into these methed out fur balls. You know how genies come out of magical lamps? Well, this is what I imagine would come out of a magical Coors Light can that I found on the side of the road. And I don't know why, but these effects remind me of the live action Cats movie for some reason. Things only get worse when a pack of bears starts attacking the car that has all the good stuff in it. You would think the bears are there for the honey, but they actually just want the cocaine. But the bears don't dissuade our guy who really wants those honeycombs, so he decides to dress up like Goldilocks. And the bears don't like it. <laughs> He gets away though and enjoys his little drug retreat in the cabin. I love it when a commercial ends on a high. Speaking of being high, do you remember this acid trip of a commercial from Quiznos? We love these I, I don't, I don't know what, what we just watched. It's such a simple ad, but there's so much going on. Could you tell me the three things that these singing sponge monkeys said you could get with a coupon besides a dollar off? You can't, and if you say you can, 
You're a liar. They said you can use coupons for oil changes, pony rides, and hair plugs. We just watched this ad and I bet most of you didn't even realize they mentioned coupons. I completely think that this ad was made by someone that got really stoned, then remembered, oh shoot, I have an ad presentation tomorrow, then conjured this all up real quick, and then realized, oh, this sucks. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give these radioactive hamsters hats. And then the Quizno execs got really stoned and then remembered, oh shoot, we have an ad presentation in five minutes, and just greenlit this whole ad because they accepted that, you know, we're just crappier Subway, which, to be honest, is a hard realization to come to. And then they all felt really bad because they used drugs. Because remember, at this point, weed was illegal. And then everyone at Quiznos decided to make a PSA. You know, for a PSA about drugs, I do get the feeling that the people that made this were on drugs. Like what would surprise you more? Is someone that was sober making this ad or someone that was on drugs? Because I know my answer. Also, let's be honest, this dog doesn't care if his owner is high, he just wants to be fed. You know, PSAs were always misleading, like this one that said if you smoked pot, you would deflate as a person. So Sarah, uh, what's going on here? Sarah? Sarah. She won't answer you. Or she can't. This is the way it's been since she started smoking pot. Yeah, I don't know what pot your friend is smoking, but I think she's having a different issue. You should probably take her to the hospital. I do always wonder if the creators of these PSAs have ever met someone that has like seen weed before. Like when I was growing up, I was taught that bullies would just start offering you drugs. Hey, Joey. What is it? Pot. You know, marijuana. I also like this one ad that came out right after 9-11 that suggests if you buy drugs, you're funding terrorism. You killed me. What? There's a bomb. I was going to school. What did that have to do with me? You got drugs. Yes, that kid right there. Got some stuff you just gotta try. Is funding terrorism. Terrorism. Surprising, I know, because it's usually the high school teachers. Marijuana. Honestly, with the amount of DIY videos out there, I wouldn't be surprised if TikTok had a whole section dedicated to teaching you how to make drugs. If you're interested in getting on that side of the internet, just scream at your cell phone a couple of times, how do I make drugs? And I'm sure it will pop up in your feed. Yeah, that was something you never had to worry about with flip phones. It is weird to see ads that market technology that has sort of become like a staple for everyday life. Like think of an ad that's trying to show off that you can now take video recording on your cell phone. I know it's a big idea, but what does that ad look like? Maybe you try and show videos of people hanging out with their friends or family, or honestly, just taking videos of their dog. Let's see what the professional marketers came up with. I've got a study. You'll survive later. Jake, keep an eye on him for me. Sure. The easy to use Nokia 3650 camera phone with video recorder. I have to admit, it's not where I would have taken it. We know you're worried about your boyfriend cheating on you and now you can get video evidence with your new phone. Also, there is no way that video is that high in quality. That video probably looks like someone's trying to play Pac-Man on it. But to add on, Who's going out with their girlfriend's best friend and then starts flirting with other women in front of that friend? Like, buddy, you were asking to get caught camera phone or not. I also like how the girlfriend sees one video of her boyfriend just talking to other girls and immediately is just like, yep, yeah, we're done. Where's the closest guy? Jake who? And then there are ads for stuff that I had completely forgotten about. It seems today. Get the Family Guy theme song as your new ringtone. All you have to do is text Peter1 to 75555. Or you want Peter laughing? 
<laughs> Send Peter two. Text Peter three four. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Did this stuff ever work? Because I would just record things on my phone and then I was able to make it my ringtone. I didn't have to go through all of this. But like, what a novel concept because no one cares what their ringtone is anymore. People don't even care what their alarm ringtone is because I would bet at least 80% of you that are watching this wake up to this every morning. And you probably just winced a little bit there and probably hate that I did that. And I would say, I'm sorry, but I was trying to prove a point. But this next ad made me realize how novel the idea was. And it's crazy because we use this little bit of technology a lot nowadays. Introducing the neck basket, a versatile, economically designed basket that you hang around your neck. The neck basket is there when you need it and out of the way when you don't. Now available in two convenient sizes. It's like an extra set of hands around your neck. It's an extra set of hands around your neck. Wow, that was bad. Wouldn't you like to tell them that? Now you can by becoming an online survey taker at BigSpot.com, where people like you get paid to give their opinions on the things they use every day. Visit BigSpot.com and start getting paid for your opinions. Yeah, you thought I was trolling you there for a second, but again, I was just making another point because telling other people your opinions is literally just Twitter. And yes, I'm calling it Twitter because calling it X is just stupid but imagine getting paid to be on Twitter like that's just such a dumb idea I will say it's not the first dumb idea to get any type of traction though if you want to stay warm and cuddly then you need to put on a snuggie it's the blanket with sleeves that keeps you totally warm while your hands stay free snuggies was that infomercial that everyone laughed at and then they bought it ironically and then it turned out to be pretty helpful you know it was just a bathrobe that you didn't need like rope to keep it all together. I'll admit it, I had a Snuggie. I will say though, the ad does not make it look cool at all. <laughs> Perfect for men, women, and children love them too. And now there's even a Snuggie for your dog. Okay, I, I would get my dog a Snuggie. I love that it's reading a book about Frisbees too. One item I am almost certainly sure that never worked was the bump it. Then bump it up with bump it's and get that salon style look fast and easy. Bumpets are the incredible self-stripping hair accessory that give you perfect style and volume every time. Okay, how? How would the bumpet get you this hair? You still need to do a lot of work to get your hair like that. Like the bumpet isn't gonna do that much. Simply part your hair at the crown, give a little tease, insert bumpet, fluff it up, and you're ready to go. Just look at the difference. Amazing. Okay, look at that. Like. No shot, dude. If you told me this worked for you, I don't think I would believe you. But the most popular and I would say most successful dumb idea I've ever seen has to be... Shake weight is the flab busting breakthrough that trims your arms and shapes your shoulders at the same time. The shake weight literally broke the internet back in the day. Horny dudes all around the world, I would say at minimum, got a good laugh out of this. And the people making this knew exactly what they were doing. They made the bigger and heavier version black, like, come on. I actually even have one of these. Has that been there the whole time? I'll never tell. I would test it out for you, but I know what the internet would do with that. It is sort of sad because I feel like there aren't as many iconic commercials because of streaming. Now I feel like I see more AI generated ads than actual ads. Are people gonna be nostalgic for AI commercials? That's like a weird thought, but maybe I only remember all these iconic commercials because I was a kid and uh, I'll, I'll own up to that. <laughs> also, I know if I remember these ads from back in the day, it means they were an effective ad, which I, I agree with. They're just very annoying at times. Anyways, that's where I'm calling it today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.